Mentoring is a big problem in the church. It's a big problem generally in Africa, but particularly in the church. We don't really have a good mentoring system. Um, we need to take not only more interest in politics, we must understand that, you know, as a famous philosopher said, that the only thing required for evil to prevail is for good people to sit back and do nothing. So we, 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 we shy away from, from discussing politics in the church. We must educate our youth. It is part of civic responsibility to be able to educate youth to know not only their rights, but also to understand and appreciate their duties as citizens in a free and democratic society. So we need all that kind of political education in the church. In fact, for our brethren, the Muslims, there's no different, the, the, the mosque is the most political platform ever. That is where they discuss and plan everything. If they're gonna slaughter people, they plan it in the mosque. If they're gonna vote for whoever, they plan it in the mosque. It is we who have taken this idea of separation of faith and state too far. We've taken it too far. And, uh, you know, I have sometimes feel inspired to go about several churches talking to them about Christian political thought. You know, there are great, uh, you know, like Abraham Kuiper, who was a great Christian, a theologian, and a political philosopher. He became prime minister of Holland in the late 19th century, Abraham Kuiper. There were people like Herman Dewey Veard, who was his, uh, his apostle, his student, uh, and, uh, you know, who wrote copiously on Christian social thought and Christian political philosophy. We need these ideas. We need to be better educated and better informed because uh, as Plato said, you know, the price that good people uh, pay for not participating in politics is that they will always be ruled by their inferiors. You don't want to be ruled by your inferiors, so you must participate in politics. You must take interest in politics, and our leaders and elders must learn to mentor young people. Uh, a great medieval Jewish sage by the name of Rabbi Hillel said that great leaders make great followers, but the greatest leaders make leaders of others. Thank you.